Okay, in the last lecture we have discussed some of the problems. Today we will discuss some more uh, practice problems. So, the next uh, example is determine the output of the following circuit. This is basically a double integrator circuit. I have discussed about the single integrator, whereas this acts as a double integrator. This is inverting terminal. Here we have a capacitor. the input voltage this is the output voltage V naught this is grounded these values are R R C and this is C by 2 C by 2 R by 2 So, you have to find out the expression for the output of the circuit. Let us call this current as I I, this current as I 1, this current as I 2, this current as I 3. If you assume that the op amp is uh, ideal, then this also will be at the uh, same ground potential of this positive terminal. So, this will act as a virtual ground. So, if I consider the circuitry from V i to this ground, this will be something like uh, this is V i, this is I i, this is capacitor and then this resistor also will be grounded. These two points are grounded because this point is this point which is it's virtual ground, this is virtual ground. This is V i, this is I i. I want the expression for I i in terms of V i. So, you can take this total impedance as z. So, z is nothing but these two will be in parallel in series with this. This is equal to R plus R in parallel with C in S domain it will be 1 by S C. 1 by S C. So, this is equal to R plus this is R into 1 by SC divided by R plus 1 by SC. This SC SC will get cancelled. So, we will get this is equal to R plus R by 1 plus SRC. This will be 1 plus SRC is common LCM. C R plus S R square C plus R this is equal to S R square C plus 2 R divided by 1 plus S R C. This is the total impedance of the circuit and we know that V i is equal to Z times I i implies I i is V i by Z this is equal to V i divided by Z is this V i into the numerator becomes the denominator and the denominator becomes numerator 1 plus S R C divided by S R square C. This is the expression for I i. Okay? Now, what is the expression for I 1? This I 1 there is a current division. This total current is I i, a part of this current flows through the capacitor and the remaining part will go through the resistor. So, we know the expression for the current division circuit. So, the output uh, 
through this resistor I1 is equal to total current II into opposite impedance divided by this impedance or resistance R. So, from current division formula, I1 is equal to I i into opposite impedance is 1 by S c divided by total impedance R plus 1 by S c. So, this is equal to I i times S c S c will get cancelled 1 by S R c. If I substitute this I i here what will be I 1? One plus SRC divided by SR square C plus two R into VI is the II into one by one plus SRC. So this one plus SRC, one plus SRC will get cancelled. We will get I one as VI divided by S R square C plus 2 R. You can see that this I 1 flows through the feedback path also because the current here is 0. Because the operational amplifier is ideal, this current is 0. So, the entire I 1 will flow through this. So, this is also equal to I 2. This I will call as equation 1. Then I will consider the circuitry at the output side from here to this virtual ground. So, what will be this I 3 now similar to this I i we have considered from input side from here to here this was ground now from here to this output side this output side if I consider. So, V naught is the voltage and this I 3 we have to find out. So, we have to find out this V naught in terms of I 3 if I compute this impedance of this entire feedback path. What is the impedance of this path? If I know this impedance simply V naught is equal to Z dash into I 3 here this z dash I am calling as this impedance. This we call as z, here we have used. Similarly, I will call this one as z dash. So, what is z dash? z dash is this is at ground potential. So, what will be this equivalent circuit? This is the output V naught, this is the current I 3 and here we have one capacitance, one resistor, one capacitance, this is also almost at the ground, this is virtual ground now. This is R by 2, this is C by 2, C by 2, but in S domain this C by 2 becomes 1 by S C by 2 that is equal to 2 by S C. So, this entire impedance we are calling as z dash. So, what is z dash? It is equal to 2 by S c plus 2 by S c in parallel with R by 2. This is equal to 2 by S c plus 2 by S c into R by 2 divided by 2 by S c plus R by 2. This is equal to by SC plus 2 SC is uh, LCM in both uh, numerator and denominator that will uh, get cancelled. So, in the numerator we have 2 R divided by in denominator we have SRC plus 4. Again now LCM is SC into SRC plus 4.
So, this will be twice SRC plus 4 plus twice SRC. So, total 4 SRC and 8. If I take this is equal to this is twice SRC, this is another twice SRC, 4 SRC plus 8 divided by SC times SRC plus 4. Now, this is equal to 4 times SRC plus 2 divided by SC into SRC plus 4. This is only Z dash. What is V0? V is equal to Z dash into I3. Implies what is I3? This is equal to V0 divided by Z dash implies i3 is equal to z dash is this the denominator means z dash is in the denominator so we have to take this in the reverse order sc into src plus 4 divided by 4 times src plus 2 times v naught this is i3 you can call this as equation 2 Now, we have to find out this I2 because I have already derived the expression for the I2, this is equation 1. Now, from this I3 also I will uh, derive the expression for this I2 so that I can equate these two to find out the output V0. Again, here this current division, this I3, this is I3 is divided into this resistor as well as this capacitor. But the current through this capacitor is in opposite direction, this is I2 we are taking. So, we will take minus sign. So, if you want I2, this is equal to I3 into, because we are uh, going to find out the current through the capacitor C by 2, you have to take the opposite uh, impedance or resistance R by 2 divided by total impedance. Okay. What will be expression for I2 in terms of I3? From current division formula I2 is equal to minus I3 because now the direction is opposite to that of the current flow through the capacitor times you have to find out the current through this capacitor this one. So, you have to take the opposite impedance or resistance R by 2 by R by 2 plus 1 by SC by 2. plus 2 by SC. Here is equal to SRC divided by 2 to get cancelled SRC plus 4 times I3. If I substitute this I3 here, what will be I2? SC into SRC plus 4 divided by 4 times SRC plus 2 of course with minus sign into SRC divided by SRC plus 4 times V naught. So, this SRC plus 4 SRC plus 4 get cancelled this is equal to minus S square R C square divided by 4 times SRC plus 2. This is the expression for I2, if I call as equation 3. And I have already derived the expression for the I2 here. Now, we can equate this equation 1 and equation 3. I2 is equal to here Vi by Vi by SR square C plus 2R. This is also equal to minus S square R C square divided by 4 times SRC plus 2 into V naught. This into V naught is there here also. So, now here if I take 
in this denominator or if I take as common this will be src plus 2 this is equal to minus s square r c square v naught divided by 4 times src plus 2 so this src plus 2 src plus 2 get cancelled so what will be resultant vi divided by r is equal to vi divided by r is equal to minus s square or c square v naught divided by 4 implies what is v naught v naught is equal to this 4 you can take to other side this to denominator this is equal to 4 by s square r square c square into v naught with minus i this is vi this is vi this is the expression for the output of the circuit so we know that in the s domain if you have 1 by s this is integration if I have 1 by s square this will be double integration so if I remove this s square here in the s domain in the time domain it becomes a double integration so in terms of the output v0 of t in time domain is equal to minus 4 by r square c square double integration of v i of t dt so this given circuit will act as double integrator Okay, this is the one of the important circuit. The next example is to find out the output voltage of a instrumentation amplifier. Consider the instrumentation amplifier given below. with a common mode voltage of plus 3 volts DC and a differential voltage of Eighty millivolts peak sinusoidal wave. So the given circuit is this instrumentation amplifier. This is 50 kilo ohms. This is also 50 kilo ohms. This is 1 kilo ohm. And here we have a differential amplifier. This is the final output V0. These are all 10 kilo ohms. Now here the input voltage is given as A 
differential voltage of 80 millivolts peak and uh, common mode voltage of 3 volts DC. This is 40 millivolts peak. This is another 40 millivolts peak. Both together will be 80 millivolts peak. And this is common mode signal. So these two are differential signals. So this is the given circuit. So the problem is determine the voltages at different nodes. Let us call this as node A, this as node B, node C node D and then finally the output voltage is 0. Then see how to find out what is VA, VB, VC, VD and V0. If I call this input voltage here as V0 1 voltage, if this as V0 2 voltage. Then what is the expression for V01? If I go with this loop, so this voltage will be, this is minus 2 plus, if I take as plus voltage, so 3 volts, this is also minus 2 plus. This is having peak value of 40 millivolts, means plus 0 0.04 sin omega t is this voltage. Peak value is 40 millivolts. This is 40 millivolts. And it is given as sinusoidal. So, sin omega t. And here also this will be plus with respect to ground. This is plus. We are going to measure this with respect to the ground. So, plus 2 minus this is minus 2 plus, minus 2 plus, this is plus 2 minus, so minus V naught 1 is equal to 0. This is plus means with respect to ground, so ground is minus, so this will be plus 2 minus. In place what is V 0 1? 3 plus 0 0.04 sin W t, this is so many volts. Similarly, if I take this KVL in this loop, what is V02? V02 will be this will be plus with respect to ground. This is minus 2 plus if I take as plus, this is plus 2 minus, this is also plus 2 minus. These two will be minus. This is 3 volts minus 0 0.04 sin omega t minus V02 is equal to 0. Implies what is V02? 3 minus 0 0.04 sin omega t. So many volts. So we have determined this V01 and V02. But we have to find out VA, VB, VC, VD and final output V0. How to find out uh, VA? If I assume that this current is I flows in this direction, this is I because here the current is 0 because you are assuming that the up amp is ideal. So whatever the current that is coming from here this I, the entire I will flow through this 1 kilo ohm resistor because the current here is 0. Similarly, whatever the current that is coming here, this entire current flows through 
this 50k resistor because this current is 0. So, what will be expression for V A now? This is V 0 1 means because of the ideal op amp the voltage at uh, inverted terminal is equal to voltage non inverted terminal this is also V 0 1. This is V 0 2 means this is also V 0 2 this current is 0 but voltage here is V 0 2. So, this voltage here is V 0 1 here or here and this I want to find out V A this current direction is this one is plus minus this V 0 1 is plus with respect to the ground which is minus. So, we are coming from minus to plus V 0 1 minus to plus this I into 50 k and this is plus to minus. So, what is V A? V A is equal to V 0 1 plus 50 kilo ohms times current I. But what is I? I is equal to this is V 0 1 this is V 0 2 current direction is this. So, I is equal to V 0 1 minus V 0 2 divided by 1 kilo ohm. What is V 0 1 is this V 0 2 is this. So, 3 plus is 1 3 minus is another one. So, 3 plus 0 0.04 sin omega t is V 0 1 minus 3 minus of minus becomes plus 0 0.04 sin omega t divided by 1 kilo ohm. So, this is equal to 3 3 get cancelled this becomes 0 0.08 sin omega t this is milliamps this kilo I have taken to numerator that becomes milliamps this is the current therefore, what is V A is equal to V 0 1 plus 50 kilo ohms times I plus 50 into 10 to the power of 3 into 0 0.08 sin omega t into 10 to the power of minus 3 this to get cancelled 50 into 0 0.01 becomes 4 this is equal to V 0 1 plus 4 times sin omega t but what is V 0 1? V 0 1 is this 3 plus 0 0.04 sin omega t. So, implies V a is equal to 3 plus 4.04 sin omega t this many volts. You see the voltage at node A. Similarly, node B, what is VB? This is V02, and this current direction is this. This is minus 2 plus, this is plus 2 minus, this is plus 2 minus. Okay. So, this VB will be equal to V02 minus 50 kilo ohms into I. into I, I is this and V 0 2 is this, this is equal to V 0 t is 3 minus 0 0.04 sin omega t minus 50 into 10 to the power of 3 into 0 0.08 sin omega t into 10 to the power of minus 3 this is milliamps this is equal to 3 minus this entire value is 4 and this is 0 0.04 so minus 4.04 .04 sin omega t so 
so many holes. This is VB. Now, what is VC? What is VD? What is V naught? What is VD from here? This is VB and this is voltage divider. This is VB and here 10K, 10K and this is the point where we are taking VD. So, what is VD? VD is equal to VB times 10K divided by 10K plus 10K 20K. This is equal to VB by 2. So, this is equal to 1.5 plus this 3 by 2 becomes 1.5. 4.02 becomes 2.02 .02 sin omega t. This is VD. And also VC because this half amp is ideal, the voltage at inverting and non-inverting elements are same. So, Vc and Vd both are same. So, implies Vc is equal to Vd is equal to 1.5 plus 2.02 .02 sin omega t volts. Now, the last one is final output V0. We can see that what is this circuit from here to here. This we have already studied in the previous lectures. So, because this all the four resistors are equal, so output V0 is given by this voltage minus this voltage. This is positive is VB, negative is VA. So, this is equal to VB minus VA because these resistors are equal R2 by R1 into Vb minus Va but R2 is equal to R1 so this is Vb minus Va simply this is difference circuit or subtractor which we have already studied subtractor So, what is V naught? Implies V naught is equal to Vb minus Va. So, if I subtract Va from this Vb, 3 3 get cancelled, you will get minus, therefore, V naught is equal to minus 8.08 .08 sin omega t volts. So, this is about this circuit. Next, we will discuss some of the examples on finding the CMRR of a given circuit. Thank you.